Hello, I'm your host, Maria McCormick, and this is The Prowl, West Broward's weekly news show. This week, we will highlight the hard work of local bodybuilders and show off all the fun we had during homecoming week. How one club raised funds and morale with a car wash displaying respect for ourselves and our environment and much more. Let's recap homecoming week. Now that we've covered the exciting events surrounding Homecoming Week, it's time for a break. When we return, we'll observe another dedicated group that doesn't shy away from hard work. Actually, Amanda went to her grandparents' house to have dinner with them and then studied all night in her room. Oh my god, seriously? What did your parents say? About that? They actually spent the whole night in the hotel room and they just didn't get any calls or anything, so they never found out. Took a math quiz and not much else. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do tonight? It's Friday night. Actually, I might go over to Shelby's house. Actually, Amanda's going to drive to Monica's house for a birthday party so she can see Travis. Hello. Hey, so are you okay to drive tonight? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You sure? I can yeah. totally drive you. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't even worry about it. Actually, Amanda isn't okay. Her blood alcohol level is 1.1%. That's precisely 0.3% above the legal limit. I'm fine. I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye. Bye. Hey. I'm sorry for what I did. I love you. Are you listening to me? Babe. 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 You're worthless. I could see why your dad left you. You don't even matter to anybody. Love of a sport can drive people to extremes. However, integrity is just as valuable as recognition at Diana Cadu Classic Bodybuilding Competition. I trained for six years before I, I ended my first bodybuilding competition. And then I just kind of grew a love for it. Here at the 2016 Diana Cadu Classic, men and women from not only Florida, but other states and countries have come together to compete as well as do what they love. Although there is a stigma towards supplement and steroid use with the bodybuilding community, people like James Bivens are trying to set their record straight. Well, it seems like when a general public usually sees uh, people that are not, that are built out of the ordinary, they automatically assume steroids, and that's not the case. 
you know they don't realize the you know the effort you know the lifestyle in general it's a 20 you know it's not just what we do in the gym it's 24 7. well i can imagine that like every other sport that is professional uh, people do use supplements to enhance them um, have i met individuals that do that no i have not but once again those that do do it do it because they love to do it. It's their body and they can do it if they choose to do it. We live in America, in a country where we're free to do what we wish to do. Implementing rigorous training schedules and strict diets, as well as a will to become better, the competitors of this event have truly achieved above and beyond. For WBTV, I'm Louis Ackermans. Halloween doesn't have to be rated R. Here's a family-friendly way that the city of Pembroke Pines celebrated the holiday. Last weekend, West Broward's TV production club held a car wash to raise funds. However, cash wasn't the only thing pouring in that day. Let's take a look. of our show. I'm your host, Maria McCormick, and this has been The Prowl.